Good morning. It is a nice, eh, somewhat foggy, cloudy morning out this morning. We need to check in on the piglets and see how they're doing. I'm assuming they are sleeping because I don't see them anywhere. They sure do love to sleep a lot at this stage, which, hey, they're tiny. I don't blame them. It's really good napping weather we've been having lately. The day we got them, it was beautiful out. And then pretty much ever since then, it's been cloudy and rainy on and off. So I'd be sleeping too if I could. Pigs, for some reason, always like to poop in one corner. And I just found the corner they like to poop in. This one right here by the gate. This looks like where they're doing all their pooping, right over here. So I need to make sure I watch my step when I come in and out, because I don't want to be getting that all over my boots. Come on, pigs. You're looking good. I think you've already grown. You look sleepy. Me touch ya. Come on in. Come on in. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother you too much. Just wanna make sure I touch you a little bit. Get you used to me. I'll leave you alone now. I'm trying to get him acquainted with us, but I don't wanna scare him too much either. Just checking on their food. I'm not sure about you, but pigs are my favorite homestead animal. They are easy, they are fun, and they taste delicious. I think they're a lot easier than meat birds. Meat birds are good too, but they're not cute like piglets. They don't eat all the different food scraps like piglets. They do taste delicious. All right, now we're getting into the technical part. We had all above the doors and the windows made, cut, put in, and have everything come out nice and even. So we're gonna start above this door get this door up to the same height as to this window and then we got to get over to the our front door get that done and then we can start working it all together nice and even Come down where it needs to go. These are your favorite things to do. Right. Luckily, once we get done with this area, that'll be the most of it. We'll just have the bedroom windows to work around and then the back windows but for a while we'll have just not much to deal with which will be nice this is one of the hotter areas i'd say this is harder than the greenhouse side just because everything's spread out in such more of a length with the greenhouse side you had all those small windows right close this is more technical that right there let me check that side I like that right there we're good all right this one can get painted before you paint that let's get that other one figured out and then while I'm cutting the other one you can paint this one and hopefully it'll be dry and then we can keep working up because we'll be able to do one more full piece here and then we'll have to go above the window and the garage door so we're getting there So close. One oh two.
that. Let's see how it looks this way. Right on the money. All right, so this can come down. These two can get painted and I can cut the next one for above the French doors. Now we're gonna have to stop working either that way or this way all the way across. And we'll have a few more to cut out. We'll have that window, this window, the garage door, and then the other window. We're getting there. Just think, we don't even have that many windows in this house. I know, could you imagine if we did? No. Right on the money, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Looks so good. I gotta cut a small filler strip of siding to connect from here to over there so that when we put our other piece of siding, when it's above the window, it's the same thickness off of the siding or off of the zip board as the rest of it. We can't leave a space. So we need to go inch by... 38 and a half. I kind of feel like we live by airport today because I keep hearing so many jets or something. Listen, it's been nonstop. Al has been on a hunt for a siding gun, a battery operated siding gun, so we don't have to worry about the compressor hose because it gets twisted, you get all twisted up in it, and then when we're gonna be up high in the basket and all that. But I guess they don't make one. I've come to the conclusion they don't make one. They make a roofing neo gun that's Roofings, battery operated. All the different ones. Right, but they don't make a siding neo gun for some reason. So if you do know of one, let us know because it is. It does become a big mess. You know, anything that's stuck to uh, a string or a rope or anything like that gets in the way. Yep. Hose, cord, all the things. This is when the gecko gauges really shine. It's for that. I like that a lot. And then when they get over there, they're the right level usually. Right, I just put my level on. If I got to adjust it a little bit, I do because the bottom of these aren't, you know, they're supposed to look like rough sawn lumber. So the bottom of them is sometimes off a little bit. So depending on how you get it sitting on your gecko gauge, it's off just a smidge. So I just level them off and nail them up. That one's right on the money. So I'm just going to nail it. All right, I'll make a filler strip for above that window, and then we'll figure out the next piece going this way. Maybe we'll stop it here or something. I don't know, I'll figure that out. Let's get that filler strip made, then I'll decide what I want to do here and figure out how long we want to go with this next piece. All right, let's figure this out. I'm thinking, We'll end up notching this back so we can slide the siding behind it. This is all going to get covered with tin later on. So if we notch this, I can get the siding behind it. And that'll look nicer. Tearing apart your work. Yep. Okay. So we still have to notch this because we can't cut this all out because behind that is our truss, but we can notch it so it sits inside more. Yeah. You know what I mean? We just have to cut out an inch and a half to slide this up versus the whole thing.
Oh, I lost my gauge. That's fine. We well, decided I need to set it there, and I lost it. So you need to be four and a half centimeters. I can come more my way. I'm gonna set you up with the cardboard boxes to paint. Okay. Done. And I'll do over there after. I'm wondering how the basket and having this little bit of roof is going to be affected by that and what kind of things Al's gonna have to do to get to the bottom layer. Once we get past that, I think that'll be easy, but after that, I don't know. Good morning. We've got some more rain overnight and it looks like the clouds are starting to break and it's supposed to be sunny. So I'm looking forward to that. This rain is getting pretty old, but like they say, April showers bring May flowers. So hopefully May comes and we'll have no more rain. That'd be nice. So last night I was going to try to get this top piece done and I ended up redoing this piece that we have on. I had to put a piece under the garage door piece to kick it out. And then I didn't like how this one was lining up way over here. So I took out that piece all the way and that little one and redid it and got that all looking a lot better. It wasn't really anything wrong with it, but like if you looked close, it was kind of off like a quarter of an inch from this end to that end. And I did not want to be fighting it once we got over the roof. So I decided to take it off on the far side over the door, the French doors and redo it. So now we can start getting this area done. Then I'm thinking we're gonna start on the soffit and get the soffit from where the second roof line meets the first roof line and work our way down. That's what I'm thinking right now, but I wanna get above the doors right up to the top of the roof overhang done first, and then we'll jump over here and start getting that done. And I'm hoping by then the sun will be out and we'll be warming up. I'm gonna mark this and get Leo going. All right, we gotta wait till Gina gets back to do that. She had to run out, so I need two people to catch, to work on that. I need a catcher. So when she comes back, we'll finish that up. Then we can do that. I guess we're gonna work on figuring out the soffit while she's gone. All right, after all the hard work with these corners, I need to cut this back so I can put my J channel up behind this and it'll be so nice. Thank you. Oh yeah, perfect. I like that. 
That'll fit good. Get that in and tight, just like that and that. That'll hold it. Now I can put the right nails in. I know those aren't the right nails, but they made it so I could get up here and work now hands-free. Gina made it back from running her errand, so now we can finish getting this cut. We'll get the edges primed, and then while the paint, then we can get the edges painted, and while the edges are drying, we'll work more on that soffit, and we'll stop putting it up on the bottom, working our way up, and then we can get this corner done, see how it looks. Oh, you figured out you needed me? Yep. Watch your head. At least it doesn't feel like it's gonna snap in half. No, they're pretty. It did make a little noise. They're pretty durable. Put that one on this one. On this one? Yes, yeah, so that way you can paint that and I'll have this edge on the other, going the other direction. All right, so we need to cut our soffit material. It's 12 inches wide. So I got our sliding mitis sort out. This will cut 12 inches. I put the blade on backwards so when we're cutting we're not splitting this. So we're going to cut a bunch of them at 11 inches. Just like that. You having fun painting those wet noodles? Yep. Feels like it's gonna rain, it's raining over there in those mountains. I'm not a big fan of vinyl, but I think for this situation, it's the best option. So ideally what we're trying to do is to try to make the house maintenance free, which there's never gonna be maintenance free, but if we can do what we can to keep the maintenance down or have to do a lot of painting all the time and stuff like that, that's what we're trying to do. It might not work, but the vinyl, it does fade. I know that from- Our first house. Yeah. but. Like you said, the sun's not going to be directly hitting that, so we felt like this was our best option for getting up high in the paint. It's going to fade too. There we go. I promise 
I didn't bring the ring with me. Are you sure? I'm really liking the looks of that. We have to let this shower pass because I gotta get up on the roof to finish up right there. And then we'll finish it. Almost feels like a little bit of hail. So yeah, there is some hail coming off that roof. I don't know if you can see it, but we got some hail. So we're gonna let this pass and I'll be back. All right, there. We got quite a bit of rain in that short amount of time, but the sun, I think, is gonna try to come out so we can get doing some more soffit work. Let's get that done, and then I can get this piece up and see how far we can get, because that rain was not any fun. So most people, when they're doing the soffit material, they only do a J channel on one side, and then they let the flashing hold the other side up. The only reason why I'm doing J channel on both sides is I've seen that in the past that the soffit material falls out, like say way up high and they just leave it because they can't get to it. So I'd rather have the J channel on both sides. It's more of a pain to do it this way. A little bit more time consuming, but I'm thinking it's gonna hold our soffit material in a lot better. There we go. Let's get down and yeah, let's get that top piece above down there done. I like that sun. I say it's come back out. All right, I gotta make my little lap joint. I don't feel like setting up the table saw a lot little bit. I'm gonna see if I can do it with our oscillating tool. That'll do it. We got a rain cloud blowing through. I don't think it's gonna hit over here at the house, but I'm thinking the animals are gonna get rained on in a second. I think we're gonna stay right here. I could say you could probably be a weatherman because you are wrong. Wrong, wrong. So the cloud wrong. ended Woo! up blowing this way over the house instead of going the direction it was going. I was thinking it was going to come over here, but it I was don't blowing know. that way. I don't usually argue with that because a lot of times it can be right. So. Uh, now, so we're getting rained on and the goats aren't. Ah, uh -huh. <laughs> are you sure they're not? Yeah, because they ran out to go eat the hay. This is true. Uh, Next time, say the opposite way. That's right. what you have to do. Burr. We keep getting rained out today. I love this little roof. Right? Works so good. Just needs to be blowing heat down on us at the same time. Right. Let's see how much we can get done now before we get another rainstorm. Let's try to get the soffit material up on this side. And then once we get this side up as far as that side, we can start siding these sides evenly and then get up there and I'm kind of thinking my bad is I got the lift like a week early but that's all right I think so too you think so too yeah yeah because there's a lot of the stuff be getting stuff up here that I have to do on the roof anyways and then once I get so yeah but you can't have them take it back now nope so I just want to mark where this is going so I can cut it out
Well, first, I thought it was snowing, but it was your sawdust. Second, I think it's raining again. That grass does look nice. It does. Once we get some more heat, I think it's really going to green up and just take off. Yeah, I think we just need to put a couple little bit more seeds here. Right. There's actually, if you look, there's a lot of tiny little clovers just coming. So I think all the clover seed that we grew last year in the fields is starting to germinate. So, but I think I'm going to have to reseed down that way. That's pretty sparsy. Yeah, but that's okay. It's starting. Did you get yourself some new clippers? A while ago. I don't remember for what job. I think for your hood vent I needed them. Ah, oh, the cat's on the roof. I figured that would happen. Arlo, I tried to keep him inside. He's just gonna sun himself up there. Right, mister? Arlo, I don't think that's a very good idea. He thinks it is. Come on, go back to the ladder and come down. Yeah. Come on all the way down. Come on. Aw, Arlo, did your little adventure make you tired? Aw, you're crazy. All right, so I gotta run out to the chiropractor and get adjusted. My back is out, and we're leaving a few minutes early because we're gonna stop at Home Depot and get a new roofing nail gun. I'm sick of hitting my thumb, putting those little roofing nails in for the soffit. So we're gonna pick up a tool to do that for us. Don't tell Gina, Shh, she doesn't know, so. Let's go get that, and then we can go to the chiropractor. All right, let's see what they have. I'm hoping they have one in stock. I always have better luck at Home Depot for some reason with tools. Our local Lowe's is terrible with stocking tools for some reason. So let's get inside and see what we can find. So since I already have a bunch of DeWalt tools and nail guns, Gina might never know that that's a new one. We'll see. <laughs> Don't tell her. <laughs> 